Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this one's going to be an informative slash uh, pack opening video regarding Grand Chance Cubes because we do have a new sale for this week only and that is Grand Chance Cubes going up for 160 cartel coins each. I never really thought I would see this on the cartel market, them just straight up putting up Grand Chance Cubes. Some people have been speculating that this might mean they will remove Grand Chance Cubes from future cartel packs. I'm not sure if that really means that, I just think they ran out of stuff to sell this week and they decided to throw up Grand Chance Cubes for some random reason. If we read the description here, it does say, you know, it advertises itself as testing your luck against getting an item from the whole cartel market. That's the way they advertise these things. And on one hand, that's true, right? It does have a chance to drop everything. The RNG for this stuff will mostly only give you bronze items. Now, it does give you full armor sets and, you know, it's a chance to collect something. That's really the appeal of these Grand Chance Cubes. I absolutely love getting bronze armor sets from these things. Because if you can get a nice one, then it's just straight up, you can collect it and that's uh, done with. It's also really great to sell on the GTN. However... The vast majority of stuff, as you'll see on this pack opening, will be stuff like companion customizations, emotes, toys, and pets. Armor sets are pretty rare drops, and they will almost always be bronze stuff. Uh, gold drops and platinum drops are basically non-existent, but once again, you'll actually see some examples of those in this pack opening. I got pretty lucky, but for the most part, people aren't opening. Like I'll be opening 112 Grand Chance Cubes in this video. For the most part, people don't open those many. They only open like 30, 40 max. Uh, from a hypercrate, you only get like 10, 12 to 15. So the chances of you getting a gold drop are very, very low. So be expecting a lot of bronze stuff if you open this. Now, if we go check the GTN as I just checked right now, it's going up for 1 million credits each on the Harbinger server. And that is an all-time high. Uh, back in the day, it was only a few months ago that these were selling for 400 to 600,000 credits. But slowly, they've been steeping up in price. And um, that's kind of expected considering inflation, considering now a lot of things are being overpriced on the GTN. It was just a matter of time that Grand Chance Cubes would now start being overpriced. And I would think that a sale like this would honestly uh, drop the price significantly. Like I thought by now the price would be back down to 400, 500,000 credits each. But no, I just checked this morning. It's been four days of this sale being up on the cartel market and they're still going for 1 million plus credits. So that is absolutely insane. I have not tested to see whether they sell at this price. I would have tested it, but I don't have any Grand Chance Cubes uh, off the buying timer. So the only ones I have are these that I have in my inventory, but these still have a buying timer on them. So I can't really test to see if they sell at this price. But what I can confirm is they sell like wildfire at around the 400 to 600 K credit range. So if you're selling in that range, you will probably get a sale in a matter of like an hour. I've sold hundreds in a matter of an hour. They are very, very popular and especially popular among people who can't really afford the uh, regular cartel pack. So it's kind of like a knockoff version of a cartel pack. Not quite as good, but does give you that uh, gambling experience and the hope of getting something really, really amazing. Now, I was talking earlier about how they advertise this, right? They advertise it as you can get anything from the cartel market. So you want the Revan's armor set, the Cathar honor sword, here's a chance to get it. And unfortunately, that is just not the case. Do not be expecting it. But, very, very interestingly, I do actually end up getting the Cathar Honor Sword as a gold drop from the Grand Chance Cubes. So that was pretty awesome, but for the most part, that's really not going to happen. I am like opening 112 of them, just to give you a good sense of what really comes out of these things. I do have another pack opening that I did uh, about one or two months ago. That was opening 200 Grand Chance Cubes. I did get a few gold drops from that as well. I ended up getting like the White Crystal and the Marsh Hunter Ackley. So some nice stuff did drop from these things but you have to open a ton of them if you actually want to get something good. Other than that, are they worth 160 cartel coins? I would say not really, because I don't think they're going to sell too well at 1 million credits, and I do think that later on this week, the price will drop. However, it might be a good time to buy low and sell high, because uh, as it indicated here, the prices keep steeping up for these things, and they're very, very popular. Now, the story about Grand Chance Cubes is that back in the day, we used to have like the... Um, Oh gosh, when did the Grand Chance Cube start? I'm, I'm blanking out here. Uh, they started with like the Plunder Packs, Revenge Packs, Visionary Packs. And uh, those things used to give you 30 cubes on average from a Hyper Crate. So basically, each Cartel Pack dropped you at least one Grand Chance Cube. And though that's why the Grand Chance Cubes were so cheap back in the day. You could pick a Grand, you could pick a grand Chance Cube up for around 250 to 300,000 credits. And so um, that was kind of their going price. They sold really well at that price. 
and I picked up a ton because what ended up happening was Bioware announced that they're going to be reducing the chance of getting Grand Chance Cubes from Cartel Packs. And so starting with the Gemini Packs, they said we're going to reintroduce Bonds items and you're going to get less Grand Chance Cubes. It was just an immediate indicator that these things were going to shoot up in price and they definitely did because the average Grand Chance Cubes you were getting for Hyper Crate after the Gemini Packs was only 12 to 15, which is what the average is now. And, um, and so the price shot up from like 200, 300k to like 400, 500k. And then uh, that's kind of what it stagnated at, but now suddenly the price has bumped up to 700, 800,000 credits, and today it's going for an all time high of 1 million credits each. And uh, they must be selling at that price. I do think that there are people out there that will pay 1 million credits for a Grand Chance Cube, but not many. Now, whether you want to pay 160 cartel coins for that 1 million credits, I would be cautious against doing so because I'm not sure how well they sell at that high of a price and I don't think they do sell that high. And I do think the price is going to drop as time goes on. If Bioware does decide to remove Grand Chance Cubes from their future cartel packs, then they're going to become very, very valuable. So that, that might be a time to hoard them up if Bioware ever announces that. But as you know, thus far, they have not announced it and I do not really see that happening. I, I kind of hope they don't because I quite like Grand Chance Cubes. They are a great way to guarantee a certain amount of credits from a hyper crate. Uh, because if you're not getting Grand Chance Cubes, you're going to be getting other crappy bronze drops that just sell for like 10, 15k. So it's going to be a huge uh, hit to the value of hyper crates. And yeah, Grand Chance Cubes don't have the best drops. I do actually end up getting a platinum item in this pack opening. I get the white and white die module. Super, super lucky, let me tell you. Uh, do not be expecting that. That was just an outlier. Just very lucky. Uh, platinum items don't drop from Grand Chance Cubes. Very, very few people get them. I mean, I myself have opened, like, I would say close to a thousand. This is my first platinum drop. The decorations are also really, really nice because it's, I love collecting old decorations because that's kind of the stuff I missed out on. I was not a, a hardcore decorator collector, but now I kind of am. I want that prestige. I want those really old and nice decorations back from the Stronghold packs and the, um, uh, the Acolyte Shadow packs and stuff. And so I love getting decorations from these things. So these do have a lot of value. Uh, and if you're one of those people who has a little pile of credits, I would suggest opening Grand Chance Cubes if they do ever drop back down to 400, 500,000 credits each. They are a very fun pack to open and they're a nice kind of way of gambling affordably because you don't have to deal with the uh, cartel packs which will set you back a lot of cartel coins or a lot of credits. It's insane how high hyper crates and cartel packs are selling nowadays. And it's also insane how bad their RNG is. I really like Grand Chance Cube RNG because it's giving you a lot of bronze stuff, but it's old bronze stuff that will either sell really well in the GTN or it's just a really nice item to collect. And it's the first kind of pack that I actually opened where I'm excited to get these items because I don't have them. They're all the way from back in the day. So it's right kind of for Bioware to advertise it as you can get these items, these old items that, um, that are not really available anymore, but don't be expecting the best RNG and don't really be expecting the most ex rare and expensive uh, stuff. You're probably not really going to get it. The RNG for Chance Cubes was better back in the day, actually. It might just be my little conspiracy theory that, that um, Bioware nerfed, stealth nerfed the RNG from Chance Cubes, but I remember that you could open 20 or 30 and always get a gold item. I have openings from back in the day when we still had those like Visionary and Plunder and Disavowed packs, and um, yeah, they had, uh, I was getting two, three gold items every time I opened a hyper crate, which means two to three gold items every time I opened 30 chance cubes. And sure, sometimes I had openings where I didn't get any, but I had way more gold items popping out back in the day. Nowadays, as I said, I've opened probably close to a thousand in total, and uh, the RNG is nowhere near as good as, as what it was back in the day. A lot of people ask me, they go, I get this comment a lot that, you know, a lot of people say, I don't care about whether it sells well or not in the GTN, we just want to know whether the pack itself is good. But in my opinion, a great criteria by judging how good a pack is, is whether it's worth the credits you could get for just selling it. Because if your interest is collecting items, then would it not be better to sell a pack for more credits and then buy what you want off the GTN, therefore guaranteeing you the item you want, rather than opening a pack and just hoping that you'll get a good item. I mean, that's the way I like to judge these cartel packs, and um, yeah, it's, that's the way I judge the Grand Chance Cubes, you know. If they do sell at 1 million credits, isn't it better to sell 5 for 5 million credits and buy some really nice decorations or an armor set or something than open the Chance Cubes and end up with like cu companion customizations or some crappy pet that doesn't sell too well. But uh, that's not really my experience with these things, they do give you a lot of nice stuff. And that's really why I wanted to do this pack opening as well, an updated version of here what Grand Chance Cubes are like nowadays. And um, 
Yeah, I wouldn't buy them for 160 cartel coins and sell them for 1 million credits. I do think the price is going to drop and there are a lot of other really good stuff to sell for 160 cartel coins. Um, you know, you could buy the, uh, the mount here that's on 90% cartel coin discount, which looks like a pod racer. Uh, you could probably sell that for over 1 million credits and so it's better than a chance cube to sell and then um, maybe you could like sell that and then buy grand chance cubes off the GTN if they drop in price. There's a lot of options for you to do so explore that. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've definitely droned on long enough. I will see you guys in the next one.